so now we're going I'm gonna do a tutorial on the washer method uh, this is the equation for the washer method the integral of pi r big disk squared minus pi r small disk squared dx or dy I'm gonna explain what um, our big disk and our small disk means in a little bit so basically you use the washer method when the strip is perpendicular to the rotating axis and when the strip does not sit on the rotating axis so here are the steps for the washer method. Step one, you find the boundaries, and if the boundaries are given to us in the problem, we can skip that step. Step two, you find our big disk and our small disk. Step three, you find our big disk squared and our small disk squared. Step four, you set up the integral, and step five, you solve the integral. Okay, so here's an example problem. It says find the volume obtained by rotating the region enclosed by y equals x to the fourth. That's this line, and y equals 2x squared, that's this line, about the line y equals negative 2. That's right here. So, um, and we can draw the strip. Um, since it's y equals x to the fourth and y equals 2x squared, it's y equals something about x. So that means we use a vertical strip. So let's just draw our strip here. I will draw it in this blue marker. Um, I'll draw an xi here because that's our, um, that's the x component of the disk, and then this is the x right here. I'll just draw that there. But anyway, um, as you can see, this is a vertical strip, and then this is the rotating axis. The rotating axis is perpendicular to the vertical strip. And then also, the strip does not sit on the rotating axis. The rotating axis is all the way down here. The strip doesn't even touch it. So since it has those two characteristics, the strip is perpendicular to the rotating axis, and the strip does not sit on the rotating axis, that's why we're using a washer. So now we can do step one, which is we'll solve for the boundaries. Okay, so step one, we can find the boundaries. So like we said, y equals x to the fourth and y equals 2x squared. We got that from the equation, y equals x to the fourth and y equals 2x squared. So since we got that from the equation, we can put these two equal to each other and say x to the fourth equals 2x squared. And then we can solve for x. And when you do all the algebraic stuff to solve for x, basically it looks like this. But here's the thing, at the bottom, we got three answers x equals x equals zero x equals negative root two and x equals positive root two but here's the thing as you can see in the graph we're working all the x things are in the first um are in the positive direction we're working in the first quadrant that's what the graph the graph is in the first quadrant and then all of the x's are in this direction you see what i'm saying so because of that, we can cancel out this x equals negative root 2. We can cancel that out and then just have x equals 0 and x equals positive root 2. We don't need this because that would be like all if the graph was like all the way over here somewhere. Like it would x equals negative root 2 would be all the way over here, but we're not working with that. We're working over here in this direction. So we can have x equals 0 and x equals root 2. Those are the boundaries for this and these are going to be the boundaries for the uh, integration. Yeah, but so like even though um, I said we're working in the first quadrant, even though the rotating axis is down here, which is not in the first quadrant, what I basically mean is the graph is in the first quadrant, meaning that x is positive, which is why x is in the positive direction and stuff and it stops like here at zero onwards. So x is zero and x is positive root two. x can't be negative root two, so these two are the boundaries. So we can go ahead and do step two, which is find our big disk and find our small disk. So here's what I mean by our big disk and our small disk. Our big disk is the equation with the larger distance from the strip to the rotating axis minus the rotating axis. And our small disk is the equation with the smaller distance from the strip to the rotating axis minus the rotating axis. So basically, Okay, so here is the strip. Here is the top of the strip, and then here is the bottom of the strip. This is the strip, right? So then, the at this strip, the top of this strip, 
all the way down to the rotating axis, it has a really, really long distance. Can you guys see this? See how the distance is so long from the strip to the rotating axis? Because the rotating axis is y equals 2. It has a really long distance. So then this is our big disk. And this, let me use a different color so you guys can see. And then this right here, the bottom of the strip, has a really short distance to the rotating axis. The distance is really short. So then this is our small disk. See how the distance from here to here is really short? but then the distance from here to here is really long. So then the equation at the top of this strip, the equation here is y equals 2x squared. Remember the y top and y bottom stuff? The equation that touches it at the top is y equals 2x squared. So the equation with the larger distance from the strip to the rotating axis, this is the distance from the strip to the rotating axis. It has a larger distance the equation for that distance is what touches at the top, which is y equals 2x squared. Let me write that down. So I'll put 2x squared and then minus, then it's a, then you do minus the rotating axis. The rotating axis is negative 2. So minus negative 2. This is our big disk. This is our big disk. The equation has a larger distance from the strip to the rotating axis. And then that equation that touches it is y equals 2x squared. That's our big disk. And then minus the rotating axis, you have to do minus the rotating axis, minus negative 2 because y equals negative 2. So now let's find our small disk. And now that we gathered all the information from the other steps, now we can set up the integral. Like I said earlier, the equation for washer is the integral of pi r big, big disk squared minus pi r small disk squared dx. Please do not forget this dx or yeah, um, we're, I'd use dx because in this equation we're working in terms of x, so it's dx. We already established from step one, the boundaries are zero to uh, root 2, we found our big disk and our small disk. Our big disk is 2x plus 2 squared. Our small disk is x to the fourth plus 2 squared. Um, so now we can set up our integral. We can use this format to set up our integral. So the boundaries are from, from 0 to negative, I mean, not negative, blah, 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 sorry. The boundaries are from 0 to positive root 2. Those are the boundaries we found. And then it's pi r big disk squared. Our big disk squared is this, so I plugged in r big disk squared. Minus pi r small disk squared. I plugged in r small disk squared right here, dx. This is how you set up the integral. If you are told to just set up the integral and do not evaluate it, you can stop here. But if you're told to set up the integral and to evaluate it, then we can move on to the next step, which is step five. Our small disk is the equation with the smaller distance from the strip to the rotating axis minus the rotating axis. So we established that this distance is really small. When it touches y at the bottom, which is basically y bottom, it basically um, has a really small distance from here to the rotating axis. Here, the bottom strip is y equals x to the fourth. You see what I mean? y equals x to the fourth. That's um, this strip right here. That's the equation for this. I mean, that's this line right here. Not the strip, but a line. Um, y equals x to the fourth is the equation for this line. And this, um, this has a really short distance from here to the rotating axis. It's a shorter distance than that one. So then we'll call this our small disk. So the equation with the smaller distance from the strip to the rotating axis is this equation, because this is the line for this equation, and it has a small distance, so 
it's gonna be um, x to the fourth minus oh let me close parentheses minus minus the rotating axis the rotating axis is y equals negative two so it's gonna be minus negative two sorry trying to and that's gonna be our small disk sorry for my handwriting <laughs> So basically to just simplify these, um, we all know that minus minus equals plus, so this is really 2x squared plus 2, because minus minus equals plus. So then we can say this is our big disk, right? And then we can say our, because minus minus is plus, we can say our small disk is x to the fourth plus 2. Sorry, can you guys see that? Minus minus is plus x to the fourth plus two. This is our small disk. It also equals this too. It equals this. Because minus minus is plus. So step three, we find our big disk squared and small and blah, <laughs> and our small disk squared. We already said that our big disk is two x plus two. So pretty self-explanatory. You just square that and you get two x plus two squared. Uh, our small disk is x4 plus 2, and then you just square that and you get x to the fourth plus 2 squared. This is our big disk squared, and then this is our small disk squared. And now that we gathered all the information from the other steps, now we can set up the integral. Like I said earlier, the equation for washer is the integral of pi r big, big disk squared minus pi r small disk squared dx. Please do not forget this dx root. Yeah, um, we're, I use dx because in this equation we're working in terms of x, so it's dx. We already established from step one, the boundaries are 0 to uh, root 2. We found our big disk and our small disk. Our big disk is 2x plus 2 squared. Our small disk is x to the fourth plus 2 squared. Um, so now we can set up our integral. We can use this format to set up our integral. So the boundaries are from, from 0 to negative, I mean, not negative, sorry. The boundaries are from 0 to positive root 2. Those are the boundaries we found. And then it's pi r big disk squared. Our big disk squared is this, so I plugged in our big disk squared. Minus pi r small disk squared. I plugged in our small disk squared right here, dx. This is how you set up the integral. If you are told to just set up the integral and do not evaluate it, you can stop here. But if you're told to set up the integral and to evaluate it, then we can move on to the next step, which is step five. All right, so this is step five. We're gonna solve the integral. So um, this is a little more tricky. Um, just bear with me. Basically, here when I put our BD and our small d, that means the our big disk and our small disk. I just didn't want to write it out the whole way. So this is the equation, the stuff for washer, which is pi r big disk squared and pi r small disk squared. For pi r big disk squared is 2x plus 2 squared. When you FOIL this out, you get this. 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Our small disk squared is x4 plus 2 squared. When you FOIL this out, it equals 8x plus 4x to the 4. Did I say 8x? What I meant to say was, when you FOIL this out, you get x to the 8th plus 4x to the 4th plus 4. So to make it easier to integrate, so this is the equation for washer pi r big disk squared minus pi r small disk squared. But guess what? We can take out the pi constant and then just have the integral of r big disk squared minus r small disk squared dx. So r big disk squared minus r small disk squared is this minus this. You see what I'm saying? It's this. 4x squared plus 8x plus 4 minus x to the 8th plus 4x plus 4. And when you subtract this from this, when you subtract it, you get this. 
x to the eighth minus 4x to the fourth plus 4x plus 8. Let me close, uh, yeah, plus, plus 8. Let me close the parentheses. Plus 8. So this is our integral. Pi, the integral from 0 to the root 2 of negative x to the eighth minus 4x to the fourth plus 4x plus 8 dx. So I plugged like this into symbol lab because this is like a lot and like I just, <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot. But I plugged it into symbol lab and here's the thing. They gave me th uh, this one, negative 224 uh, root 2 pi over 45 plus 8 root 2 pi plus 4. But I kind of rearranged it to make it easier to read. So I took out pi, then I wrote it like this, negative 224 root 2 over 45 plus 8 root 2 plus 4. Then I moved this one to the back so it could be like a positive in front. So it's 8 uh, root 2 plus 4 minus 224 root 2 over 45 pi. So that's what I put as my final answer. Basically, this is just calc 1. Um, you have to plug that in then, you know, just add pi at the end. So yeah, that's the final answer, but I just put it in a symbol lab and rearranged it. <laughs>